Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 and as you can see, this is the new Color Warper tool and it is insane. I'm sure you may have seen many videos in this before, going over what it is, how you can use it. Let me show you a few things that I found which I absolutely love. So firstly, how do you use it? If you click onto the spiderweb looking icon, it gives you the Color Warper. And if you click onto an area of the image, say for example, the green of these leaves, and I move left and right, you can see how it's changing the image. And at the bottom, you can see how it's affecting the color wall bar. Now this is extremely useful and extremely handy, but this isn't how I personally would be using it. How I would use it is as follows. At the bottom here, it has the hue resolution and the saturation resolution. You can increase these and get way more details. Say for example, again, if I click onto it, you can see I have much more smoother and refined controls. And I can make this look very, very, oh, this is insane. This, this is literally mind blowing to me. Literally by just clicking onto an area that I want to adjust, I've changed the saturation and the hue in very fine tuned controls. Now you've always been able to do this before in the past by going to the curves, you can adjust, you know, hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, but being able to do them both at once is very, very powerful. And the reason why it's powerful is because most colorists, they normally have a color wheel and they can adjust some of these parameters at the same time. But now, those with a mouse can do the exact same thing and it's extremely powerful. Not only this, but it actually controls to isolate specific areas and add more saturation. Again, this isn't gonna be a complete tutorial or how to use. I'm just gonna show you a few things that I found that I like about this. So down here, you can see we have all of these different tools here. And one of the ones I found which I like the most is push and pull points. So essentially, if you go to pull points, again, I'm gonna increase the points a little bit. If I use this tool and I grab the colors more towards the center, it's gonna desaturate the image. So if I do that now, you can see it's slightly desaturating the image. But the reason why this is great is because it's done it in such a natural way. Normally when you're adjusting the saturation via this tab here, it's not necessarily as refined and it doesn't look as natural. But with this, it looks extremely natural. Not only this, but instead of pulling the points, you can also push the points. So if I grab it again, and I do the exact same thing. I grab the points towards the center. You can see I'm adding saturation. It looks extremely nice. It looks really, really, really sensational. If I show you before and after, you can see we've added saturation, but it's way more natural and it looks way more refined. Again, it helps the fact that I've increased the points to 16. So we have way more refined selection and tools. And instead of just grabbing an isolated area of, for example, one color, I've grouped a selection of colors and made them more saturated. And it looks really good. And what's incredible about this is I can keep pushing and pulling points as I want. So if I wanted to desaturate an area, if I think it's too saturated now, I can go back to the pull points and I can just pull some of the color back out again. In fact, let me zoom in so you can see before, after, before, after. As I stated earlier, these effects are now nodes. And why this is important is because we can actually dial in how much of the effect we actually want. So if I go to my key settings here, key output, essentially works like an opacity slider. So if I drag this down, we see that we have the effect off. And if I drag all the way back to one, you can see we have the effect again. So again, you can get really fine adjustments and really dial in how you want your specific looks. And that's not all because there's actually a second side to this. If we click onto this icon here, we can affect the chroma and the luma. So if I use my eyedropper tool, I select onto it, I go up and down, you can effectively see how I'm adjusting the luminance of the colors. And this is so, impressive if i go left and right you can see i'm actually adding a little bit of yellow and green to the image and this is so powerful it's actually mind-blowing how much fine adjustments you can get with this because otherwise what you could be doing is you can do the exact same thing in the venture resolve a multitude of different ways so all of the tools i've shown you, you can do with the color warper you can actually do with the resolve anyway it may take slightly longer time or there may be just a different way of doing it. This enables you to do it all within essentially one tool. And if you wanted to, you can isolate it to a single node. And I can do the exact same thing to this video here. I can add some warmer tones by moving the cursor to the left. In fact, let me zoom in. I'm gonna show you before and after. That's before, that's after, before, after. But with such a refined selection, we've made such a huge difference. Again, I'm going to create a new node. I'm going to change the grid this time back to the spider web. Increase the resolution. I'm going to, I'm going to go to pull points because I think this image is quite saturated. I'm going to go right to the middle and I'm just going to pull it. And as you can see, I've affected the saturation. Gone from that to that and I've affected the saturation in a way which I believe is more natural to the eye. So this tool is extremely useful. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. There's a whole bunch of things that I haven't even spoken about that you can do with it. You can grab multiple different points in areas if you wanted to. 
you can lock different areas if you wanted to. There's so much you can do with this. Again, this wasn't a step-by-step -step breakdown of what the tool can do. This is just a few things that I found which I think are useful. I'm sure you've seen plenty of other videos on this tool which gives you more in-depth breakdowns, but again, this is what I like. But yeah, guys, anyway, if you found this useful, let me know in the comments below. This was just a quick video, so 